It's finger licking good. Just like many other famous restaurant chains, the Colonel has a few secrets up his sleeve. So let's dig into 10 secrets that KFC doesn't want you to know. Oh, come on! White pepper may be the secret. The, the secret ingredient. So is it a secret anymore? KFC has always been known to keep a close eye on their proprietary blend of secret herbs and spices used as seasoning for their fried chicken. Even the employees who work at KFC outlets don't know exactly what's in the recipe. KFC even uses two separate suppliers for the spices so that no one is absolutely sure what these mysterious ingredients are. However, this may have all changed when a Chicago Tribune writer came across an old family scrapbook from the family members of KFC founder Harland Sanders. In this scrapbook exists a list of 11 herbs and spices that may be the exact secret KFC has been trying to hide from the public for so long. The full recipe can now be found online, but the main ingredients include the following. Salt, thyme, basil, oregano, celery salt, black pepper, dried mustard, paprika, garlic salt, ground ginger, and white pepper. I haven't had KFC in almost a week. This is the secret recipe that other fast food chains and at-home chefs have been trying to replicate since the famous fried chicken empire began. Not only did this lucky Chicago Tribune reporter find the recipe, he also got to sit down and speak with the nephew of Colonel Sanders. During this brief meeting, it was revealed that the recipe was indeed legitimate and that Joe Lettington, the colonel's nephew, had spent his youth mixing together this secret blend and helping sell it to local restaurants. Joe went on to say how the most important ingredient in the mix is white pepper. He called it the real secret ingredient. After all these years of copycat recipes and famous chefs claiming that they know the secret to the KFC spice blend, we may now finally have the true source of the legendary 11 herbs and spices. You can still create the infamous Double Down. Made of pure chicken, two delicious crispy chicken fillets. After being tested in a few smaller markets across the U.S., the KFC Double Down hit counters nationwide in April of 2010. This sandwich was perhaps unlike anything that had found its way into the hands of hungry consumers before. Instead of two halves of a bun, the Double Down used two fried pieces of chicken breast. If that wasn't enough of a thrill already, the inside of this culinary masterpiece was filled with bacon, cheese, and a special sauce. When the Double Down first hit KFC locations nationwide, the hype was unreal. Hmm. So what happened to the bun? The Double Down sandwich has almost an entire day's worth of the recommended amount of sodium. On one hand, no one is going to KFC expecting to eat healthy, but to eat an entire day's worth of sodium in one sandwich tends to be a little concerning to health professionals. However, from its launch in April to early July, KFC reported that they had sold over 10 million units, a truly staggering accomplishment for such a unique food item. Although the Double Down stayed on menus much longer than initially agreed upon, you'll be hard-pressed to find a Double Down on KFC menus today. That is, unless you know how to order it a la carte. By ordering the individual components, you can have the KFC staff put this incredible fried creation together for you. So here's your chance if you missed out the first time. You now hold the power to create one yourself without the need to get the Colonel's permission. KFC actually had to sue their own founder. What do you mean? You'd be hard pressed to find a fast food mascot that is more famous than KFC's Colonel. His face is plastered across every restaurant on signs and even on the packaging of most items that the chain sells. It may be hard for some to believe that Colonel Sanders wasn't really the nicest guy. He was said to be an angry, rude, and racist man who was constantly saying things to the media that most people would find slightly off-color. In one instance, the Colonel was even slapped with a lawsuit from his own brand for some highly offensive things he said to a Louisville reporter. Am I allowed to inform him that Colonel Sanders was never actually in the military? The piece, which was supposed to be titled Titled, is a chicken wing white meat was filled with hate for many aspects of the KFC brand. He discussed his immense disappointment in how the restaurant chain was making their gravy, describing it as wallpaper paste, and even claimed he hated the chicken itself. 
life. When it came to discussing the chain's chicken, he didn't have much better to say either, claiming that it was nothing in the world but a fried dough ball stuck on some chicken. It should come as no surprise that having the face of your fast food chain publicly admitting his dislike for the products isn't exactly great for business. In the end, however, Court sided with Mr. Sanders and dropped the lawsuit due to his claims being general enough that there was no defamation taking place. Even with Colonel Sanders himself expressing his hatred for what the chain had become, sales continued to skyrocket for KFC. Maybe some people like their gravy to have the consistency of wallpaper paste. The controversy over the name change. It's finger licking good! Everyone knows that KFC stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. For as long as the restaurant chain has been around, they have prided themselves on being known for their fried chicken. After all, the chicken is what allowed the colonel to start his journey into the realm of fast food and has proved to be the most important menu item since the chain's inception. However, if you listen closely to the newer commercials, you'll notice that they've started referring to the chain as Kitchen Fresh Chicken. Kitchen Fresh Chicken. Chicken. It's a muffle. Why don't they just call it KFC? After all these years, why would they change something like this now? It all comes down to the brand wanting to paint themselves in a better and more health-conscious light. By not mentioning the word fried in their name, they assume people will think of the restaurant as a more health-friendly option. Sure, they have some healthier options like grilled chicken, veggies, and salads, but overall, they're not fooling anyone. KFC has long been the mecca of finger licking fried chicken, and their customers have known all along that what they're eating isn't exactly healthy. It comes as no surprise, though, that in today's more health conscious world, fast food brands are trying to show that they too can offer healthy options. The real question is do we want them to? KFC started in a gas station. Is it 80 years in the business? When Harland Sanders got into the restaurant business, he had no more than just a few simple dishes that he would sell to hungry travelers who would stop by a small gas station in Kentucky. His original menu consisted of just chicken, country ham, biscuits, string beans, and okra, which were all served by the colonel himself. When Sanders started becoming more successful in his business foray, he purchased a large dining room across the street from the gas station. After his famous fried chicken continued to rise in popularity, the restaurant was expanded to hold 140 42 seats and a motel was added to the property. Inventing a recipe that changed the way we enjoy chicken around the world. Even with his newfound success, the colonel was disappointed with the amount of time it took to pan fry the chicken. He needed something quicker, but was against deep frying as he believed it would lower the quality of his product. With pressure cookers becoming a new item on the market, the colonel realized he could slightly modify one of these new devices in order to fry his chicken in a much more time-efficient manner. With his newfound technique, the colonel could start his journey in creating a truly global fried chicken brand unlike anything the world had seen before. From that point on, he began to franchise his business and allow it to grow at such a rapid pace that it is now a universally recognized name in the global food industry. The original bucket wasn't the colonel's idea. Bucket. Nothing is more iconic to KFC than the Colonel, the brand's colors, and, of course, their famous bucket of fried chicken. The bucket meal was introduced in 1957 to an overwhelmingly positive response from the public. Fourteen pieces of chicken, five bread rolls, and a pint of their famous gravy was all anyone needed to feed their family, and the bucket itself became a legendary icon in the KFC marketing legacy. With so much hype and adoration for a simple bucket of chicken, you would think that this was surely one of the ideas of founder and legendary icon Colonel Sanders himself. Is not. This, however, is not the case, and the true creator of the bucket of chicken may really take you by surprise. Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, was once a member of the Kentucky Fried family. He was not only an early employee, but was also a franchise owner who would eventually break off to create his own legacy in the fast food industry. It was apparently Dave Thomas who came up with the idea that they should sell their fried chicken in a bucket, an idea that has stayed with the company 
company ever since. It's hard to know what this idea did to propel Dave's career forward with KFC. Maybe he was given a nice promotion. Most importantly, though, Dave eventually realized that he was meant for greater things and decided to leave KFC to start his own adventure in the land of Square Burgers. Unique Promotional Items The KF Console KFC has been known to release some truly out-of-the-ordinary items to promote their brand over the years. Wherever these ideas come from, they seem to do wonders for marketing the brand in ways that are sometimes a little unconventional. Take, for instance, the KFC Prom Corsage. Yes, you heard that correctly. KFC released a fried chicken-themed corsage for the prom goers that just couldn't imagine their outfit being complete without the addition of some of the Colonel's famous fried chicken. Chicken. That's so weird. Another promotional item that was launched more recently comes in the form of a high end video game system. The aptly named KF Console was first mistaken as a joke when the company announced its development in 2020. Fans, however, were stunned to find out that this gaming console was, in fact, the real deal, complete with high end specifications and, of course, a chicken reheating oven. The KFC console may be one of the most over the top promotional products ever designed by a fast food chain. Fish Donuts KFC's all new fish donuts. While KFC locations in the US may be the original home of the brand, locations abroad have taken things to some interesting new levels. The Singapore based locations of KFC not only offer the famous fried chicken, but also offer some more unique culinary delights as well. Fish donuts, Boyle, what is wrong with you? Fish donuts and shrimp stars may sound a little strange to the average American, but these menu items are quite the hit over. Overseas. While the idea of eating fish shaped into the form of a donut admittedly sounds quite odd, KFC has had a long history of culinary innovations that have allowed the brand to become a worldwide phenomenon. So if you find yourself at a KFC abroad, why not dig into some delicious fish donuts? The Colonel Dropped Out of Middle School Forget school. Growing up was not an easy time for Colonel Sanders. He not only had to deal with his father's death early in his life, but he was also forced out of his mother's house when she remarried. Working on a farm as a child, Harland Sanders was trying to balance his job with his school life. When it came time to start learning algebra, however, the Colonel could not wrap his head around the ideas of variables. It's algebra, algebra, algebra. He famously stated that when it came to algebra, he couldn't conceive any part of it. The only thing he got out of it was that X equaled the unknown quantity. And since he didn't care about the unknown quantity, his school days ended right there, and algebra's what drove him off. It's finger licking good. It's finger licking good! One of the most famous slogans in the fast food world has got to be, it's finger licking good. The origins of this slogan came from the Colonel himself, but how this slogan came to be is quite the interesting tale. When advertising for KFC locations in the 1950s, Colonel Sanders would appear on local television ads promoting his restaurants. The advertisements consisted of Mr. Sanders eating a plate of chicken while his restaurant manager provided narration. One angry viewer complained to the station that Colonel Sanders was licking his fingers while he ate. When he heard of this complaint, Colonel Sanders simply exclaimed, well, it's finger licking good. Without knowing it at the time, Colonel Sanders had just created what would become one of the most well-known fast food slogans of all time. We can all surely agree with the Colonel that his chicken truly is finger licking good. Get a taste of more great videos, just tap or click. And hey, hit that subscribe button button and ring that notification bell.